Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to Planet Crafter. Well, I didn't solve the uh, pulsar cords problem, but I did put in a bunch more um, T4 uh, extractors, and we gotta get rid of all of those. That's iron, titanium, and aluminum. The titanium I can use to make um, super alloy with because that's not pulling as much titanium and uh, we might try to build that today, but we're gonna have to go get some circuit boards. So let's set off uh, some rockets. I have decided that today we will set off plants rockets just to make the whole world rain green goo. Because why shouldn't we? That's really cool. I'm gonna launch some plants into space. Bye! <laughs> I'm not beyond putting up some more uh, pressure and heat rockets. Osmium rod. Nice. That's at 39 GTI. All right. Or whatever corresponding thing, my bob. Uh, yeah. The nice thing is the recipes are different, so you don't really have to concern yourself too much about launching the wrong rocket. There's uh, two more rockets that we kind of need to get sent up. One of them is this uh, map information rocket, which we might be able to do. And uh, the other one is the drone vis visualization rocket, but we don't quite need it yet. Let's do another plant rocket. We found all those rocket engines. We may as well. this only adds like one or two zeros to the end of the percentage amount that you're getting um, in uh, kilograms per second or maybe it's even only grams per second and the last one four rockets four rockets in a row have fun you're gonna take off okay goodbye <laughs> <laughs> this thing is full again I put in a shredder because I just have I just have uh, way way too much aluminum and uh, I'm not quite sure what to do with it let's see if I can make an iridium rod I can can I make two I'm not sure I don't think so I think I have to go get more yeah I have to go get more uh, alloy. All right. And uranium, not iridium, super alloy. Look at the thing. It, it says on it what it is. <laughs> oh, this is silly. We need to go get the uh, circuit boards. <clears throat> but I just keep going. Just keep going. Now we need the circuit boards. Okay. Um, I did, by the way, I have shredded that extra chip that I made. Uh, still right? Yeah. Alright, circuit boards. So there might be some in that ship. I think there's gonna be a constant storm because they don't all uh, take place at the same time, the storms. They they happen sequentially. We also need to change all of our T3. Uh, is it T3? I think it, oops, it's down at the bottom. We, we need to change to the T3 um, tree spreaders, which means a lot of T2 um, fertilizer needs to be made, because I don't, I don't know if I have any. Alright, there we go. Now I'm thinking I would like to have this connected to this launch platform. I don't know if it'll be tall enough, though. Is there room over there? Not really. Alright, let's see. Let's see if it's tall enough. Uh, where's the stairs? There we go. Yeah, it doesn't want to touch those rocks, so... Uh, let's see here. Oh, it's clear over here. Let me maybe get it to connect over here. No? Make yourself littler. 
<laughs> first it wasn't at first I didn't think that it was gonna be um, uh, big enough and now it's too big okay we need more power well we have a choice we can use up oh it's that thing we can use up the pulsar cords or we can just put in another one of these. Explosive powder. Oh, I've got T2. I've got a little bit of T2 fertilizer. It looks like I can do two of those tree spreaders. Yeah, two of them. Oops. I need to hit that. Too many distractions. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, power. Uranium's over here. No, I need all of them because the other one is for the um, rocket. Water and alloy. Oh, I'm out of alloy? Oh, dear. We might have to solve this problem. Like, I might have to manually move some stuff from one, <laughs> from one base to another one. I think I just need more drills and to change these to the bigger drills. Uh, extractors, sorry. I just need more of everything now. Because that's the point we're at. <laughs> oh, that's almost full. Alright. I think that was all I needed, right? And water. Okay. Go forward. Look at all the green goo flying in the air. <laughs> My graphics card has got flames coming off of it right now. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> this might be just enough to run that uh, trade rocket. And I just thought it would be kind of cool to put it in. We don't need it yet. I mean, I suppose we could. I do have some things that I can actually manufacture and sell. But not that many. There we go. Alright, one more, uh, oops. One more nuclear reactor on the nuclear reactor mountain. There we go. We'll see how much power that is. I knew it was getting close. I did check. So that's 679 and this takes 425 of it. Wow. Do I still have all the stuff on me? Yes. Alright. Let's go put it in. I, God, I really wanted to attach it to the rocket, but, uh, I mean, to this one. I could put it right here. The problem is that this is only the first one. I don't know why that won't snap other than it's just too, uh, too tall to snap. What am I stuck on? Uh, see, I didn't know about all these rocks. Well, it's snapping to that one. What about the one behind it? No, only to that one. All right, fine. Another storm? I lost count. This is gonna be a different thing. All right. Uh, oh, that's too tall. Okay. So here we go. What can I make? So you can see Pulsar Quartz is not on there yet. Neither is cloth because I can't make cloth, but I can load cloth in. Um, we have 100 Terra Tokens, which means we can buy some cocoa. <laughs> but that's it. Um, so we can make engines. They're worth 13. Uranium is worth 8. Um, we can make osmium rods. They're only worth 6, though. Thirsty, am I? So right now, the most valuable thing that we have are rockets, of course, and I don't really want to get rid of the rockets. I don't want to start making rockets. I don't even remember how to make them. Um, let's see here. Let's go down here to the rocket making machine. Um, that's not that bad. 
But I don't want to make that many of them. It says on there how much they're worth. Radical trade value. Oh, I never noticed that. Is that new? That might be new. So anything that we have a trade value on, it'll be listed. Oh my goodness gracious. Is there another bottle of water? Yeah. Okay, put that away. We will need these. Many more of them. Put the alloy away. Now, I did want to take down all of these. If I can find them. There they are. Eight T3 drills. They're taking 60 each. Uh, I have almost nowhere to store them except for the titanium. So that's six times eight would be 48. And we only have 42 slots. Uh, I'll just eat it. Here we go. <laughs> Let's go grab some of these. So our GTI is now at 40. Uh, almost 41. Four. Five. Yeah. We'll go and put some of this into super alloy production. Gosh, I just keep getting higher. <laughs> We'll smash this into super alloy production. We do have one more ship. And the higher our GTI is when we get to that ship, the more valuable that stuff is going to be. But there is a, a maximum tier that that will go to. It will not go past uh, frogs in training, obviously. And um, also, I wouldn't want things to be in there that I literally can't use. So, was there cobalt? No. It was aluminum, iron, that's not iron, iron, and titanium. There we go. Yeah, it's titanium I'm out of now. And then I will be, hello, then I will be out of silicon. Oh, no, I'm out of magnesium. All right. So, um... Yeah, until we get the drones, this is what I've been having to do is move stuff manually because it doesn't drill things equally. And I can put another drill in there. Uh, that might do something to help. Although I think we're going to end up with drills that are just packed with aluminum and iron. Uh, there's a little bit in there. Let's go uh, smack that in. I was actually sneezing there. I haven't sneezed in days. <laughs> Almost knocked me out of my chair. Let's see here. Aluminum. There we go. It doesn't actually bother me to do any of this stuff manually because, of course, the whole game's been like that forever. All right, my inventory is empty. And we'll just grab the rest of that. And it's only going to make like one or two more before it runs out of stuff again. But when I need a super alloy, I go there and then I go out to the super alloy cave and I grab that too. Now I think that it might be a good idea to have a shredder actually out at the super alloy cave. And I know that there was something else I was going to do. Do I have room left? Let's just drop this off. Now I can make another alloy rod. I'll just get the grab the rest of these really quickly. One, two, three. Is there anything in there? Oh my god. <laughs> oh 
my goodness. Uh, can I pick that up? I can. Alright. I forgot about those. <laughs> I also went right past my door. Alright. Here we go. Last time... There goes the iridium rods. That's almost full. Definitely need to get a shredder out there. Or I'm going to have to carry everything back until I've got the drones. I'm going to have to have like five shredders just to take all the extra iron and aluminum and um, cobalt and all the extra stuff. <laughs> They're going to be demanding stuff. I can't set a shredder to demand because then when the drones run out of the natural product, they'll just start taking it <laughs> from they'll just start taking it from the uh from the storage containers maybe. I don't know, maybe not. I'm not all that savvy about drones yet. No, oh, that's magnesium. And no room for aluminum. And those things are full of aluminum. So we did all of that. I think we can put in a couple more of those. What are they? 51 energy? Come on. <laughs> Poor little pinky finger. It has to do so many jobs. I'm really torn between plunking a, uh, a teleporter out in the um, waterfall and building another um, power thing. We have 392. Where'd I put the shredder? There it is. You can also store stuff in the shredder. As long as you don't accidentally hit the button like I constantly do. Uh, oh yeah. Um, okay, explosive powder. Now the shredders need explosive powder too, so I don't want to go too far. What am I doing on GTI here? Um, where's the other screen at? Over the desk. Okay, so basically nothing is moving at all. I think I just saw oxygen and pressure move. <laughs> I've launched a lot of rockets. You can see by the by the numbers that I'm generating up there, but the amount, you know, kilotons and pascals or whatever that is, um, the amount is so high that it looks like it's barely moving, but the total uh, trans... Uh, terraformation index is moving. All right, let's do it. Let's do two more of those. And what was it? Osmium? I don't even remember. No. <laughs> Iridium. There we go. No. Settle down, pinky finger. All right. I got six of those. Yeah, let's go put two more of these out there. I don't think it's going to make any difference. I think the only thing that can really make a difference now is going to be um, the uh, uh, rockets themselves. Oh, good grief. All these rocks in the way. About right there. That's good. And one more right there. Yeah, that works. Okay. So I think pretty much rockets are the only thing that's going to do it now. I could do a heck of a lot more biomass than I'm doing. All right. Uh, do we have time for this? Absolutely we do. We need T2 fertilizer, which we only have five of. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can I convert this? Do I have the stuff? Yes, I do do. Yes, I do have the stuff. Just keep saying yes, 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 I do. 
I think I have actually got squash in a container. Um, okay. And then methane. And was it bacteria? I don't often do this. No, it's algae. Okay. Where'd I put the algae? <laughs> I put it someplace nifty because I thought it would be really close by. Oh, for goodness sake. That's bioplastic. Well, this is embarrassing. <laughs> it's also typical. It must be in here where it belongs. Here it is. I don't even know how much I needed. All right, here we go. That was two of them. Uh, what am I missing? Methane. I didn't pick up enough methane. I don't even know how much I need. Okay, there's two more. Uh, look in your inventory. Oh, I picked up an uneven number of fertilizers, so we'll put that away. Put the methane away. Put the algae away. Do is that an even number? No, that's only nine. Oh, I do need that. Okay, wait. This is really silly to do without using the auto grafter. Um, but it's not close enough to all these disparate things because it's not set up yet. Oh, I only needed one algae and some squash. I have no idea how much, and a fertilizer. Because I need an even number of these things. Okay. Alright. Um, algae. Squash. <laughs> Don't accidentally put the squash in the shredder. Alright. Um, so then we need super alloy bacteria tree bark. And one, two, three, four, five. And super alloy. I don't trust myself with this. It's it's one of each. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> there. <laughs> bacteria. Nope, bacteria, I moved. There it is. And zeolite. I still haven't gotten all the zeolite out of the wild, and I can already mine it. So, do I have room? Ugh, I'm gonna be dropping stuff on the ground. That's gonna be a mess. Hopefully I won't drop it in the water and lose it. These aren't all the best trees. So this one is 175. There's a zeolite on the ground. All right. We're gonna have to take the time to get all the best trees going on. 125, it's my favorite tree now. So it definitely stays. So it's just like, this one is just for um, aesthetics because that is my favorite tree. Well, my favorite tree is the red one, but we don't have access to that yet, quite yet. I'm backing up because um, if something drops, I want to be able to catch it. Uh, yeah, we're still doing good here. Oh, really? <laughs> Well, there goes the power. So we're gonna have to fix the power before we can go any further. Oh, I might take the tree out. I've got the stuff, right? Okay. <laughs> Am I not using any of this stuff? No, I'm not. What an idiot. <laughs> That means I can make way more trees. Because I didn't use any of those things except more, more power. 
That's all I did was use more power. Alright, all my trees are gone now. Let's carry on. <laughs> How can my GTI be going up if I have no power? Is there passive GTI things? It is still going up. That's groovy. We're gonna dump all this. Will it fit in here? Well, the fertilizer can go in there. And the bacteria can go in there. I'll just put the stuff away where it goes. That was really funny. I didn't need to take any of that stuff with me. I just wasn't paying attention. And tree bark. There we go. Alright. I think I just need a T2 fertilizer. That's all I needed was one T2 fertilizer for each one of those. <laughs> Alright. Let's put in another power plant. Uh, because why not? Oh, I can't. Oh, I have to do this one. Because I, uh, yeah. Alright, here we go. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> I can do it now. I can convert it to, um, the uranium ones. Now that I have the power, I can make the rods. So, let's see. I think at the end here, we will actually go and look at that. Um... We need to clear uranium, and we need to clear um, super alloy, and they're in two opposite corners of the map. I'm kind of wondering, to be honest with you, if there is possibly um, some pulsar quartz maybe tucked into that cave. Uh, either the one in the canyons uh, or the one over there in the lush area. I know there's more pulsar quartz on the map and I know that there's pul pulsar quartz in boxes and uh, we haven't done that yet and like I said we have one more ship to go. We might go grab that ship next time the one that's behind uh, the waterfall. I'm pretty sure that's the last one. And there's also uh, three golden chests over there that we haven't picked up. Maybe four, because we may not have been in the mushroom cave. Come to think of it, I don't remember going into the mushroom cave yet. All right, let's see. Oh, I haven't even picked up the uranium in here. All right, well, that's good. Let's do that. That was a lot. That might be enough. 2, 3 is 15, 17. Oh. <laughs> um, you know, it seems like I would have gotten this stuff. Oh, problem solved. Let's go. <laughs> There's a box, and in that box is wonderful things, because I left that box alone. I think that's respawned uranium. I don't think that's... I don't think I left that in that cave. I might have to go back and watch the episode that pertains to going to that cave the first time. That might be painful to watch. <laughs> Rock! Gosh. I stopped looking at the screen for a second. I don't think I need that. All that. There's three um, of the fusion reactors. And a blazing ton of um, yay, butterflies! And a blazing ton of the uh, uranium reactors. Because I really do think that I really do think that I might um, want to put in a teleporter over there. I don't 
think that's gonna make two. Oh, I'm wrong. I made two. Okay, there we go. That empties out that and gives me one extra and explosive powder. Yeah, I have two left. And an alloy. And water. <laughs> I don't know if this is enough to take out that nuclear power reactor, but we gotta try. We gotta try because I want my pulsar quartz and we're waiting for a little while still. How much power was that? 1613. That's available. Oh, here's total up here, 74. All right, let's give it a try. If all else fails, I can make another reactor. Woohoo! <laughs> Robbing Peter to pay Paul every day, 128. <laughs> Uh, we need a uh, map information rocket so we can get the information. Fusion energy cell already. Well, that's going to mean more. Way more. Uh, so yeah, we need the map information rocket. The other ship is right here. Uh, oops. I think everyone does that. You would try to move the screen, but you can't. The other ship is right here-ish. And um, I think we will do that next time because I, I, there's no way I can make fusion generators or fusion cells rather because that's three pulsar quartz alone and I need that for my teleporter toe. <laughs> All right, you guys. <laughs> uh, just waiting for the trees to come back now. And like I said, we can make another one. I didn't realize they were that much more power. They're um, 153 versus 71, so double the power, yeah. All right, well, I learned that lesson. <laughs> but I did take out a bunch of stuff. Uh, we got rid of the, um, oh, the T2 or T3. We'll just look at it because I can't, my brain can't do this. So we got rid of all of the T3 heaters and the T3 drills. So we're running on T4s right now. And we did add some more nuclear reactors just to save on the pulsar quartz. And pretty soon we'll be able to do pulsar quartz. We can do butterflies right now. And we'll pick that up next time. I think I might even have one. Um, and I think next time our main thing is going to be to do... Uh, the big ship on the other side of the waterfall. We will take a teleporter with us. Thank you all so much for coming along. I hope that you have a lovely evening. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.